Quinn Show here, doing a, another episode of The Quinn Show, <laughs> my Minecraft Let's Play. Uh, last time I survived an entire night, figured out where I'm staying for the time being, and I found myself a dog. And his name is Punk. Punk. So, what do I want to do today? That's a good question, because I don't know yet. Right now I'm level 2. And I don't really have very many tools yet. Let's take a look at what I have. Well, I don't really have anything. And I would like to have some nicer stuff. So, I want to explore a little bit. So I think I'm going to try and see if I can find somewhere high up that I'll, I can get a look at what I have to work with around where I'm living. Looks like I've got an ocean out there, and that's a pretty thick forest throughout all of this area. Yeah, really big forest. I don't really see any large landforms anywhere. So, I don't know that I'm going to be staying where I'm at for very long. But, I have a wooden hatchet, and there's plenty of trees, so I'm going to go ahead and collect some wood. And I just, I really just need as much wood as I can get, but for the time being I'm just going to go until my wooden hatchet disappears. So one thing I don't like about these trees is that they're too tall and I have to I have to jump on top of a dirt block to what is that? Oh. I thought he took damage. I haven't figured out what you're supposed to feed dogs yet. I think I'm I guess he wants to be fed. I haven't figured out what to feed him. I think you feed them bones. But it's not doing anything, so I don't know yet. I know their tail is their health level. But I don't know what the max health level is. I don't know if he's at full health right now or not. Okay. Looks like it's going to nighttime here pretty soon. Now that I got all that wood, it'll be a good opportunity for me to start a mine inside my house. If he ever shows up in here. Come on. Come here. Hey, no, don't go back out. Get in here. Hey, dog, come in. Hey, come here. Okay, stay there. Okay, Let's see how much, 22 wood, so I'll turn all these into planks because I'm not going to need the logs. And I've got some coal, so I can make torches, I've got some food. I'm going to go ahead and make um, two storage chests because I don't need all this stuff that I have on me right now. I'll put the storage chest in. Throw it on the top. There we go. Don't need that. Eggs don't need better. Saplings don't have a bow. Sticks I need. Throw one of these up. Rocks. Go and cook these so that I have some food while I'm down there. 
And then I'll make me another mining pick. If I need another one. I don't need that. And I've got a crafting table, so while I'm down there I can make some more stuff if I need. And got a sword. Pick this up. And my chicken is done. Coal. To make some more torches. And now I just have to figure out where I want to start this mine at. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start it right here. Hey, found something. <sighs> That's the hard task of figuring out how to get down there. I don't just want to jump down. Oh, I guess I can. You know what? I'll be adventurous. I want some more torches, though, so that when I get down there, I can lay up some more. And a little bit more. There we go. Okay, I'm just going to jump down there. I don't really have anything better to do. See any bad guys? Oh god, yes, I do. Yeah. Could have been a lot worse, though. Okay. Sorry about that. Stupid creeper. I'm going to go ahead and get some of this coal now. There's lava over there. And there's some iron. Um, that one's big. I want to be careful not to carry too much on me at one time because uh, now that we're down here in this dangerous area where it's dark and there's lava and other stuff, if I die, I don't want to lose all my stuff. But at the same time, I don't want to have to be making trips up and down all the time because I keep finding more. So, I'm going to make sure that I can carry enough on me at one time but not risk too much. Getting a lot of iron. Don't know why I put that there. Got a dead end. So I want to go ahead and line up this dead end area. I try and be um, as helpful to myself as I can whenever I'm exploring caves. Whenever I'm exploring, I like to put the torches on the right side of the cave. That way, if I get lost, 
I just know to travel where the torches are on the left, which would be backtracking. So I placed them on the right side whenever I was coming in. So whenever I want to get out, I know to follow the torches where they are on the left side. And if it gets too confusing, I've got enough wood that I can make a sign that, you know, points directions to get back to the house, or whatever I want to call it. The Quinn crib. I think what I decided I'm going to do is I'm just going to gather as much resources as I can from where I'm living, and then uh, once I get to a certain point I'll have to move on. I want to look for an area that will be really good to build in, because I've got some building ideas but that wouldn't be very good for a forest area. I'm thinking maybe a desert or just a rolling hills area. But it'd be a good idea to to keep uh, keep a, a house where I am right now uh, because all of those trees everywhere will be really good. always nice to have some iron. I don't know if they changed something with the way the iron spawns or not, but I used to have a lot harder time getting iron before beta. And then after beta update, I didn't really play a whole lot of Minecraft as much as I do now. But iron was a lot harder to get back then, and it's a little bit more common now. It's a little bit more necessary also, though, so I think it wasn't appropriate. If they did change anything, I think it was appropriate to do so. I'm not usually one for making armor, I just don't usually wear any armor, but depending on how much iron I get, I will probably have some, and I hate that. Oh man. Okay. There we go. Some coal up there. And I've got a lot of coal and tin iron. I'm going to keep going. I'm not too worried. I hear some skeletons. Um, yeah, skeletons. Something's up there. Zombie. It's a really big shaft. I've never seen anything like this before. That's a real cool thing about Minecraft is that it's always it's always random. You don't you don't ever know what it's gonna be like. And I would have never guessed that something like this would happen. I'm just gonna make a staircase up. And my philosophy is that it's never too much to put torches everywhere you are. Better to be safe than sorry. Torches will keep mobs from spawning, so once you get into a cave it's best to put torches up everywhere so that you don't get bad guys in the caves. I'm really curious as to what's going to be up there. You're a dog. It's probably mine. A zombie and a dog. And water. 
I'm gonna go and eat some of my chicken. Chicken heals three hearts when it's cooked. Or three hunger bar, I'm sorry. And this was a dead end, but there is something up here. I don't know where it's at, but I hear it. It's close. It's really close. It's like right... Where is it? It's like right on top of me. Cows? This is so creepy. God, it's like a horror movie. I'm just walking around and I hear all this. Oh, there it is. Crap. I should run that entire shaft. I found it though. Drowning it. Now I need to figure out how to get up to that water supply without going through. Crap. There we go. I found myself an underwater pool with nothing in it. My dog is somewhere close though. Where is it? I can't stand just like having all this stuff in close and not knowing where it's at. <laughs> Are you serious? Wow. I just happen to have a pool like right by my bedroom. <laughs> well, now I don't have to worry about losing all my stuff when I die. Fix all this here in a sec. I have an indoor swimming pool. That is dumb. I mean, it's cool, but it's <laughs> stupid. <laughs> Wow, that couldn't have worked out any better. 
I'm gonna go and break this wall down. Reminds me of something from like James Bond where he just has like a lair that has a little pool in it and goes into a cave. And it's daytime. Wow. So I did a complete loop around. That huge shaft I walked up to get here, to get there, was just happened to be all the way back where I was. I will figure out what to do with this later. I'm gonna go ahead and smelt what I have. 14. Another piece of leather. And a bone. Put up there. I got some raw food. Wow. I'm going to go back down here. I didn't even have to go that far, really. I just need a little staircase. It's not hard. Okay. Mm. Creepy fade. There we go. There we go, finish staircase. I need to get rid of this. I think this is my last pickaxe. It is. I hear some bad guys. But I've done enough cave exploration for now. I'm gonna go back up to the surface. I've got some coal down there I can get. I need coal, as much coal as I can get. It's just good to have. And it's just night time, but I have a bed. I think. I don't. I don't have a bed. I could have swore I had a bed. I need one. 14 iron bars. It's gonna help. Got some raw meat. We're gonna go fight stuff. Come on. Oh, there you go. Okay. I need to find some sheep. More doggies. Chicken. Oh god. Oh 
There we go. Zombie and a spider. Yeah. Yeah. Punk. Punk. What happened to Punk? Did I lose my dog? Dang it! I like Punk. I lost my only dog. I don't have any... Wait, do I have bones? I don't have any bones either. There's a creeper over here, I think. Yep, there's a creeper. There's two. Really? You're gonna blow up in the water? There we go. Gunpowder! Let's creep over by my house. Oh, skeleton. Hey, I need your bones. Stop. There we go. Bones. Hey, dogs. Doggies. There we go. You are... Diablo! They don't attack creepers. That's right. Spider. There you go. Okay, I'm level 5 now. I got a new dog. We're gonna go inside. Come on, Diablo. Let's go. Get in here. Okay. I've got enough to make a bow. That was very interesting. Um, yeah, Punk died. Rest in peace, Punk. But this is Diablo. The devil. Okay, you sit right there. Uh, that's gonna be all for this episode. That was that was annoying. My spoils. Some string, got some arrows, got some rotten flesh, got more cacao, leather, raw beef. I'm done. That didn't go the way I wanted it to. But I will carry on. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, this has been the Quinn Show here. Hope you enjoyed it. 
and uh, I will have a new video next week. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment. Any suggestions? If you want me to do something differently, let me know. Or uh, if you have anything that any questions you want answered, I can do that in my videos. So feel free to leave any questions. Um, if I don't know the answer, I can find out for you. So thanks for watching, and uh, I'd like to say also thank you to all my subscribers who have been coming back and watching my videos. It means a lot to me. So thanks to you guys. That's why I'm here. Thanks for watching. This has been The Quinn Show. See you next time.